Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to City Skylines Sunset Harbor DLC. We are back here in my City Skylines YouTube series, Kelly Creek, and we are back here for today for something special. So right now, um, we only have a plus 9,000 cash flow, which in reality is really not that bad, but for today, I would like to add another industry to my City Skylines city. And we're, what we're gonna add today is we are going to add the oil industry. So I haven't thought this one through. I actually haven't looked for the oil industry. So where is the oil? So there's outside connections. Let's go to natural resources and turn around. Oh, we have, okay. So we have oil right on top of our cargo transportation. Then we have, oh, we have oil back here. Okay, that actually was a complete accident. So we're gonna go through and build an efficient oil in, wow, there, there's a road right there, okay. So we're gonna build an oil industry and we're gonna try to make a ton of money off of it. So what we're gonna do first is pretty easy. We're gonna do the most generic thing possible. We're gonna bring a road all the way up to here. So we have that in place. So what we need to do is, so this is where the oil is, this brown, I guess it looks like brown dirt. So what we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to do a couple things. So we're going to actually, so this is our oil industry, which is amazing. And we need to actually district this though. So the, our first thing we're going to have to do is take out the brush tool. So I'm going to fast forward this for you guys. Okay guys, so now that we've painted both the oil district and the industry district, we can now actually start creating the oil industry. So what we need to actually think about when we're doing this is uh, we need to figure out a proper city skylines industry layout. So the problem is, is the oil industry, all of our oil is up here in this brown, like I mentioned before. So we need to figure out a proper method on how to excavate it without creating a traffic nightmare. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, so I'm, I'm kind of fast forwarding this, not really fast forwarding it, but I kind of want to build the the um, refineries first and then kind of go from there. So we're gonna grab a one way road over here. So what we're trying to do is make these as efficient as possible. So we're gonna have a road going this way and we're gonna have a large one way road going down. That's not a sports monkey. That is not a one way road going down. Okay. So we have a six lane road going down and then we'll have one going across and then we'll have it coming back. Okay. So now that you guys see this road layout, you're going to be like, well, what in the world are you doing sports monkey? Well, we're going to do something a little funky and it's going to be a little different that I don't think I've ever seen a YouTuber do. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this off ramp. Yeah. A highway off ramp. We want it turned. So we're going to try to turn it like this and then we're going to so see how that's straight out or that is a one way. Wow. Okay. So we have a slight difference in land height but that's okay so then now that we have that we're gonna have a straight line go straight across like this perfect so now this is a one-way road and now we're gonna go right back to that exit so maybe we should make this a highway but let's let's just try this first but this is again this is something that I've never seen anybody try to do so we're gonna be the first at least try to be the first. I don't know. If, who knows? Somebody out there. Somebody out there could have done this. All right. So see how. Okay. So how about we just do what we did over there? Okay. So see this. So this is going to have one. So it's going to be a one way system. And we're trying to get the traffic to all go down this way where we're going to have all of our refineries. So let's do this a couple more times. So what we're doing for the city skylines oil industry layout, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to make sure that our traffic in our city does not go down the toilet. Like right now we are at about 72 to 75% traffic flow. And once we add this industry, it is going to, it might go down. So that's why we we're not creating the most beautiful, sexy, 
oil industry layout, we're trying to go for the most efficient layout where we're not going to have traffic jams. We're going to make a lot of money while building this oil industry. Basically, we're trying to create the most efficient oil industry possible. And this is the layout that I believe will truly actually work. So what I did on the screen was I upgraded all of those large roads into highways. And what you're seeing on the screen now is what I would call road management. So what we're trying to do is every every oil truck that is going to go left into the oil refinery plants, we're going to make sure that they have their own private lane. So as you can tell, the red lane, every single red lane is going to the left and then every lane to the right the right two lanes are going to go into the middle. So this way, no trucks get slowed down. And this way, there's no path impeding any of the traffic. And all the trucks are forced to kind of go They're They're basically traffic management is forcing them to use those paths. So what we're going to do right now is we have it on one side and we do need to make sure we get the middle lane. So the trucks stay in their lanes. So they don't, so anybody ever see the jackknife trucks? That's like literally cutting straight across to the left. And you're like, why is it in the right lane? And it's literally going diagonal across. So this is going to eliminate that issue. So I'm going to fast forward this, but we're going to do this on both sides of the build just so we're not going to have any traffic management issues in this oil industry. So I'm going to fast forward this so you guys don't have to see the rest. So guys, this is going to be where all of our refinery plants are. So we're going to have our oil rigs at the very top of the screen. And at the bottom is all of our refinery plants. And we we kind of are going to stick to the same system that we have in place right now. So as you can see, I'm connecting what will be our oil rig area, our large oil rig area, and we're connecting it to our refinery plant. We are going to stick to the same layout that we did up above. And we're gonna do that with the oil refinery. So you're gonna see a bunch of different oil buildings that, you know, well, first and foremost, you do need a main building when you, when you are creating in any industry. So we added a main building. The next part is, is we are gonna add a bunch of these oil rigs and we're gonna add f about four on each side. Um, I don't know where that magic number came from, but I figured, I did not want to crunch a bunch of the oil rigs right next to each other and going four on each side seemed to be the best bet. Like, like I'm leaving the truck space to get out of the oil rigs and to actually be able to move and, you know, kind of start up. So that is another tip I'd say leave room, you know, do not crunch them together. Like I said, these are kind of spread out and like, these are all one way roads and each of these, you know, there, basically, there's going to be two lanes since it's a one way road. There's going to be two lanes on each side and one lane will go left and the other lane will go to the right side of the rig. So that looks pretty good. That's going to make us a ton of money. Now let's do the layout where, you know, for like I mentioned, we are going to do all of our amazing oil refine or do it. We're basically all the refineries that we need we're going to build that over here so we're going to redo what we just did we're going to replicate the same thing so you guys don't need to see this i'll fast forward this also so now let's start building up our oil refinery plant so we have our oil rigs to the top like mentioned before now let's keep adding over here our oil refinery so what we're also going to do is we're going to create another one-way road and we're going to keep it pretty straight roads we're going to try to keep it vertically down to the right and we're going to bring it right back up now the reason behind this is we don't want those main trucks on that road so see that road above where i'm trying to connect to it and you can clearly see that i'm struggling to connect it which is kind of weird because city skylines won't let me see look at city skylines wouldn't let me go straight up like what in the world is going on anyways the point of all this going straight up is we want the trucks to be going from that bottom part of that road. And we want the, that traffic to be down there. We don't want that main road, the main one-way road to have handle that traffic. So as you can tell, I'm adding about two or three of these over here. Three is pretty much pretty good. And we're gonna, do, we're gonna replicate the same thing further to the right. But as you can tell, we do not want that main road and we're gonna have all the traffic go to the bottom 
And again, we're just, we're all about trying to make this as efficient as possible. So if anybody's still watching guys, please remember that we're just going for efficiency. We're not going for the most beautiful roads. You know, we're, we're not looking for the most beautiful layout in the world, essentially. So now that you see our oil industry layout mostly done, you see that a lot of the refinery plants have been placed down and, um, you know, pretty much ready to go. So essentially we're going to take the oil from the top of our oil industry layout and we're going to bring these them to the refinery plants. These refinery plants can create a few different items that can lead you to make a lot of money in city skylines. For example, a few of them will make plastics and petroleum and it'll really help you expand your exported goods and help you make a ton of money. So the next part we're going to do is it, it we're going to create a cargo train station. So we're creating the train station because like I mentioned, our oil industry is going to create a lot of exported goods. So what I would like to do is I'm taking that cargo hub, which you can tell I have a one way road and I am looking for the cargo hub. And essentially we're going to lay that down right there. So the reason behind that is because that is our main line. So as above the cargo train station, you can see that that is our main train line that is actually going to our cargo airport and it leads out of the city. So we're going to take a lot of our exported oil goods and we're going to have them exported out of the city. Yes, let's use some common sense. So now that we have that in place, we're going to have to do the road layout. So now this is going to be our little cargo area and you're going to be like, well, why in the world did you do that? Like what in the world? Why, why is there just a roundabout and stuff like that? Well, with these construction roads or like, what is the exact term for it? It is, um, do, 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 do. It is, they're what's called industrial roads, sorry. And um, what these industrial roads do is you can't make a left-hand turn. So that road is stuck and they can't go left. So what this essentially does is forces all the trucks from the oil industry to go in a circle and then go to our cargo train station. And I learned that from Scratch Gamer and that was a really good idea he had and I figured I'd use it over here just to spice things up a little bit, you know? So the last part of our City Skylines oil industry build, what we're doing right now is we're creating the oil industry storage area. So like I mentioned before earlier in this video that oil industry creates petroleum, oil industry creates plastics, and a few other items. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna create storage for it. So we're doing the layout to where, you know, obviously there's gonna be a lot of tanker trucks that come here and store that the pure oil that we just got from the oil rigs. And essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep everything organized. So when your storage facilities are actually full, it'll start exporting out the goods to our cargo train station and out, um, you know, basically our trucks will actually drive out of the city to export it, or it will go to our city for any of the commercial districts or industrial districts that actually need oil. So now that we have that in place, we're going to just, I'm going to plop that down. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch all of it, but essentially you can see I'm putting down some of the larger oil storage facilities and you know, eventually you've seen this plenty of times. So let, I'm not going to bore you guys. So we'll keep going forward. Okay guys. So this is our oil industry finished product. As you can tell, um, everything is working amazing. Like look at the traffic layout for this. We have no issues. Um, once in a while, I guess you can say that there's a little bit of a traffic jam there, but honestly, not bad at all. Not bad at all. And overall, this is what it looks like. Now, this is, this was not supposed to be the prettiest layout, like I mentioned many times, but look at the way that ex these oil rigs are placed and how I use the highway. So I did do what's called a lot of lane management. So if you look over here, like I, I did edit a lot of the roads to make sure that a lot of these trucks do not get interfered with and we don't have a crazy amount of traffic. So that's just something to keep in mind. I did the same, I used the same principle over here, although there's cars parked there. But anyways, my point is, is 
everything I did was lane management wise. So to create the most efficient oil industry possible. So I would say, I would say that this was a giant success and I don't know how much money we're making at, but let's see, let's find it. We are already making $29,000. Now I didn't even add in the policy to improve logistics, improve the safety and supervision and advance automation. So now we'll be a little bit more efficient in our process, but we're making $27,000. And um, I did do some minor detailing. If you look over here, this is kind of a uh, residential mixed in with our worker barracks. So essentially it's like a mini town over here to basically supply our oil industry with workers. And then I had just added trees to kind of blend in everything. So overall, I think this turned out very well. Again, not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is the most efficient. Now for another episode, we're gonna actually have to create, um, we're gonna create, so off camera, when I'm done with this video, I am gonna create a warehouse district. At this warehouse district, essentially we're gonna have a lot of storage for the, more storage for the plastics and for the petroleum, but we're also gonna have a couple warehouses or um, you know, a couple specialized buildings that will use the petroleum and plastics and use them to actually create toys and different types of goods. And I'll actually end up going through that, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, have a great rest of your day. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, guys.